Hi everyone. This is the first part of the fourth video of the Angular Admin Dashboard tutorial series. If you missed the previous video, I recommend you to watch that video first. Let's take a look at what we are going to build in this tutorial. Let's get started. First, open a new terminal and create the charts module by running ng g m admin slash charts hyphen hyphen routing. The hyphen hyphen routing flag will generate the routing module for the charts module. Then, create the home component for the charts by running ng g c admin slash charts slash home. This component will hold all the charts that we are going to create. After that, open the charts routing module and create required routes. Now, open the child routes.ds file and create the route for the charts module. Now, import all the required modules in the charts module, as shown in the video. Let's create a component called bar chart by running ng g c admin slash chart slash bar chart. Now, update the bar chart component.ds and bar chart component.html files, as shown in this video. The bar chart options contains the configurations for the bar chart. The bar chart labels contains the labels for the chart. The bar chart type is the chart type. Here it is bar. The bar chart legend is the data displayed in Y axis. The bar chart data is the data that is presented in the chart. In this tutorial, I'm going to use some static data for each chart. But you can use actual data for each charts in your own projects. The chart clicked method will be called when clicking on the chart and, the chart hovered method will be called when hover on the chart. Now, update the home component.ds file with the bar chart component. Let's create another component called donut chart by running ng g c admin slash chart slash donut chart. Now, update ds file and html file as shown in this video. Each variable has the same meaning as in the bar chart component.
Now, create a component called PyChart by running ng g c admin slash chart slash PyChart. Now, update ds file and html file as shown in this video. Each variable has the same meaning as in the bar chart component. Now, create another component called line chart by running ng g c admin slash chart slash line chart. Now, update ds file and html file as shown in this video. Each variable has the same meaning as in the bar chart component. Let's create a component called polar chart by running ng g c admin slash chart slash polar chart. Now, update ds file and html file as shown in this video. Each variable has the same meaning as in the bar chart component.
Finally, create the radar chart component by running ng g c admin slash chart slash radar chart. Now, update ds file and html file as shown in this video. Each variable has the same meaning as in the bar chart component. Don't forget to share your thoughts about this video in the comment section. Stay tuned for the next video. Thanks for watching.